academia and think tanks, members of media, ladies and gentlemen. My pleasure to address this Army Day seminar on capability development and indigenization of Indian Army in futuritics, futuritist con uh, context. A very big name. I think it could have been very short. Futuristic Army and the indigenous development. But anyway, let me uh, at the onset express my apologies for keeping you waiting for 10-15 minutes beyond the uh, schedule. Uh, that was because of some other program which clashed almost in time and they were not ready to let me go after I made my speech. Though I reduced my speech to 10 minutes, thereby saving 10-15 minutes, uh, the organizers uh, just won't let me go. So I got slightly delayed here. Uh, the timing and theme is very important. The, the recent incidents tell us that uh, we need to calibrate our capabilities and response. One aspect which uh, I like to stress, the challenges are increasing. The adversaries not only are ready to sacrifice their life or rather come with that target because they are very much sure that uh, it's almost impossible to go back. They are also using modern technologies and modern methodologies for doing many things. Like for example, the communication earlier, army could uh, uh, rely or the intelligence could rely on uh, the airwaves which could be trapped. Slowly the airwaves are almost disappearing. It's uh, through the underground cables as also the mechanism of passing on the information over internet protocol also is changing in such a fast rapid pace that uh, we also need to keep pace with these uh, developments. In fact, uh, to their dismay, the, not only it's not a phenomena which puts us on uh, alert. Recently, about three, four years back, when London was burning, the British police also found that uh, the WhatsApp uh, transfer of information was what was actually fueling the fire. Informations and uh, other uh, issues were being continuously circulated. It's a very good media for very positive things, but it can be equally bad because uh, there can be no restriction on who is putting in the information. Misinformation, when it comes on a computer. I remember in my childhood when uh, some issues were wrongly reported in the paper. There were few newspapers which had such a good credentials that people used to say, but what you are telling? This uh, news has appeared in such and such paper. Nowadays, relying totally on media, uh, the mind of people fluctuates. But social media, when an issue is picked up by someone, uh, misinformation also can become an information. And the third, fourth, fifth, sixth person, he says that so many are discussing it. A non I have seen non-existing issues have been created over social media. And a mischievous person can definitely do it. So army also faces a lot of challenge in information interception, getting right data, as also many other modern techniques use. And I think in this scenario, it would be advisable that we develop our own mechanism. How do we ensure borders and areas are properly protected? But I am of one of the opinion, generally. And this should not be taken as a government thinking, but I always believe that anyone who harms you he, can, he 
understands the same language. How, when and place are of, should be of your choice. But uh, if someone is harming this country, I think uh, that particular individual or that organization, I have purposely used the word individual or organization, should also receive the pain of such uh, activity. Until this pain can be transmitted, he will always enjoy giving pain to us. We are proud of seven soldiers, but I, all, I, I get pained when my soldiers die. I don't appreciate it. When I said that uh, it is a time we tell our soldiers, it's inevitable that we will lose some lives, and this incident uh, proves that we didn't lose actually, except one, we didn't lose people in actual combat. But uh, when our soldiers die, I always tell them that you think of concept of taking life of your enemy or enemy of the country instead of giving your life. Now this aspect is very important. Sacrifice is always respected, absolutely, beyond doubt. But I think uh, what nation needs is neutralize your enemy and that is what should be the target. In that process, sometimes we do have shah. We have people who lose their life, and uh, there are battle casualties. There are people who are lost. But I think we should work out mechanisms of uh, proper alertness, and this can be indigenously developed. The technology, a lot of uh, local uh, people. They have come with many solutions, and I think this indigenization effort concept or my this is mindset making India is a mindset. We always thought that the foreign products are good, but I'll tell you, in many circumstances, I find Indian products are better than foreign products because of two reasons. One, of course, we can make good foreign product. There may be a problem with our quality check setup or frame of mind but secondly the products are made for this country this country's environment humidity temperature uh, style of using we uh, won't be using a product which is used by europeans uh, may not be very useful because the temperature there are different the environment is different, style of use is different. Many times they use and throw, we use it multiple times. So we have to go by our requirement. I think many indigenous development is taking place and uh, we need to encourage it. Making India is a uh, mindset. Unless you really get it uh, plugged in your mind, the stakeholders, both sides, buyer as well as seller, will not create the right synergy. It's very important that uh, the armed forces realize that their capability enhancement is linked with technology and creation of a product of indigenous nature. We don't realize that this country has people who are great. Sometimes they make things which are uh, really wonderful. I'm interacting with some young scientists also, private entrepreneurs who have developed uh, various products required by defense forces with innovation and sometimes even better than, uh, for example, in cyber age, the products which uh, are being developed by some small innovators in India are probably much better than what are available in the Western countries. In these uh, circumstances, I will only say this uh, seminar becomes an engine of growth on this indigenization and capability development. This both needs to be aligned. I'm confident that this seminar shall meet the objectives set up by the organizers. I shall be keenly looking for fresh ideas, if any. I'm very happy of for the seeing the innovative display 
and uh, this push by armed forces and army general in particular for creating awareness about the role of army and also outward as well as inward. It's very important that we need to also create an awareness inward within ourselves why we need to improve the capabilities. We also need to create an outward realization amongst the people of this country that uh, the needs of armed forces needs to be catered up with priority and the difficulties the armed forces face in various aspects, what they do even during peacetime. Sometimes it is commendable but it doesn't come up focused in a way. Like for example the role played by armed forces in recent Chennai flood was uh, par excellence. Uh, with all difficulties there is there. I know because I was monitoring it from day one. In fact, zero hour. And I know the difficulties faced, but it was a uh, fantastic performance done against all odds, but didn't get uh, focused to the level it should have. Of course, it did get a good uh, reviews, but I think these both aspects need to be brought up. I hope this seminar uh, creates some thinking and synergy on this aspect. I wish them well. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. May I now request Lieutenant General MMS Rai, AVSM, PSM, Vice Chief of the Army Staff, to give the vote of thanks. Honorable Rakshamantri, Chief of the Army Staff, Distinguished invitees, ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to thank the Honorable Rakshamantri for gracing the seminar and delivering the inaugural address. The Honorable Rakshamantri has touched upon a wide range of